Welcome to ArcPoint, my name is Marcus, and today we're going to be covering preview modes. So there are three different ways you can preview your game. The first way is client-side preview mode, the second way is multiplayer preview mode, and the third way is to simply publish your game unlisted and test it on a live server. Uh, we're going to be covering one and two in this video. So to start client-side preview mode, you go to the top of your screen and press the play button, ensuring that multiplayer preview mode is disabled. So that's this button to the right. Uh, you can click it and it's going to enable preview mode, uh, multiplayer preview mode, and then you can click it again and it's going to disable that. So we're going to go ahead and press that play button, or you could press the equals key. And that's going to start up a client-side preview in the editor of what your game would be like. Uh, you can move around, you can jump, you can even chat to yourself, hello. But since this is practically an empty project, there's not much to do, so we're going to exit preview mode by pressing the escape key. As simple as that. And there are some extra cool features. Uh, so we're going to move the camera away, and you can press shift equals to spawn the player at the camera position and not the spawn point. Uh, additionally, you can press the pause button at the top next to the play button uh, to pause the preview, but it's kind of hard to do when you're in the middle of the preview, uh, so you're going to find yourself using the tab key quite a lot. Uh, that pauses the preview, and you can actually move around similar to in the editor. You can move the camera, and you might notice in the top left it's got that preview mode text. Uh, you can actually remove that by going full screen and pressing F11. Uh, I find it's very useful for getting in-action screenshots of your game. Uh, additionally, while you're in this mode, you can move objects, such as this animated mesh. You can just select it and move it while it's paused. Uh, but when you unpause the game by pressing Escape, it's going to return to its original position. So if you change the game while it's paused, and you really like, like, say, where the position is, I suggest that you select the object and you copy its position, rotation, scale, whatever value you like, put it into, like, a notepad document, and then just paste it in after you've exited the preview. I will say, however, client-side preview mode, it runs all buttery and smooth, but it is not... Uh, a good representation of the final game when it's on a live server. Uh, generally, you'll find the performance of client-side to be like 100%, but on the actual server, it's like 60%, 70%. Uh, to get a better idea of how your game's going to play, uh, you're going to use multiplayer preview mode. So we're going to go ahead and try that now. We're going to press the button to enable multiplayer preview mode. At the moment, we've got it set to one player. And it runs a bit differently once you press play. It's going to actually create a new window, and it's going to be very similar. It's going to load you in, and then now we're in the game. Uh, one major thing to note is that you can't press tab to pause the game. Uh, you can't well, pause the game in multiplayer preview mode. But other than that, it's quite similar. Now, I'm going to just shrink this window a bit and mention that, so this new window, that's pretending to be your computer, a client-side computer. And the editor, that window, is pretending to be the server, um, like the, the core game server that hosts your game. Uh, to show that a bit more, I'm going to end this stop there, and bring a server and a client context into the view. So the client context is the red cube, and the server context is the purple cube. Now we're going to go ahead and press play again. Wait for it to load. And then on this window, you're going to see that there's the cube, the red cube, because this is emulating the client. But we can't see the server cube, because that is on the server context. And the server can't see the client cube. Now we're going to cover this more in the a networking context video that should be next, but for now I'm going to keep going. And so one of the great things about multiplayer preview mode is that you can actually pretend to be more than one person. So for instance, I'm going to select three players here, 
going to press play and it's going to pop up with three different windows. Voila. Now we're three different people. Jump around. You can see that I can see myself on the other screens. And then we can just easily swap between them. Not much of an issue there. It's great for when you don't have uh, anyone around and you need to test something. You can just pop in three people. And yeah, uh, although running three or four different clients might take a bit of toll on your computer, so that's where on the very right here, there's the preview settings where you can change the quality, the resolution, and you can even swap it to different monitors. It's all very handy stuff, especially if you need a more performant testing. Well, that's it for this video. Very quick. Uh, hopefully you found it kind of useful. I felt like I had to do this before moving on to do a network context video, just so you know what the previews are. Uh, with any luck, that should be coming out very shortly. And I shall see you in the next video. Arcpoint out.